When Jesus says pray, men ought to pray and not faint. He doesn't suggest that prayer is a religious obligation. It is a spiritual obligation. As a new creation, prayer for you is pivotal and essential because every moment in prayer is an investment in eternity and not a religious act or obligation. Prayer lines you up with the will of God, his empowerment and enablement. If we want to be effective in our Christian walk, we need to stay prayed up if there's such a thing. If we want to make a difference in our world, in our communities, in our families, we need to understand the essence of prayer, which is fellowship. We also need to understand the essence of the fellowship to which we've been called, and that is the oneness of God. We too will not just be longing to lay hold of power, but we we'll understand that there's so much power inside of us that people can come to us and we can make God manifest in His fullness. Because God is looking for all changes. And the beautiful thing is, He doesn't want to work with any other thing or creature that He has chosen men. to this court and say, Lord, I want to go deeper. We've been hearing people when they say, can I prophesy, can I go deeper? I don't want to go deeper elsewhere. I want to go deeper in my fellowship with God. Because I know when I go into those depths, there are depths that will take me out here. I will go deep on my knees, but I'm rising and rising when I go deep. I've heard somebody say, a man that kneels down before God will stand before men. And if we are talking about power, real power, that's where power is. In a place of prayer. That's where the power is. 
If we can be a praying church, the Bible says, there was Jesus who says, now this house shall be called, my house shall be called the house of prayer. Now where does the leaves, the leaves on the inside of you? He said, don't you know that you're the temple of the Holy Spirit? Now this house shall be called the house of prayer. I call myself a house of prayer because there's Right now, I want you to address it in the name of Jesus. Call it 
about it, slave and tired it is. It's time is up. The Bible says when the woman with the issue of blood, she lay in a home with this garment. She first decided, I want you to make a decision this, this morning. Decide that all situation, your time is up. Today. Thank you. 
continue praying without ceasing, that you will understand that it's fellowship, it's communication. Just say something unto the Lord, minister unto him. The man of God said, worship, minister unto the Lord. With understanding that fellowship, prayer, fellowship, and this is how we lay hold of power. I want you to say something to the Lord. Just go on ahead and talk to him. Say something unto him. Father, you will sing him out. If you are able to pray in tongues, go on ahead and speak in tongues. The Bible says he who speaks in another tongue. He's edifying himself and he speaks mysteries unto God. He doesn't speak unto the unto men. Now speak unto the Lord. Tongues are a communication of spirits. When words would fail you, just speak in tongues. Oh. Uh -huh. 